the center of the Sahara Desert in North Africa. One of the driest places on Earth. Temperatures here regularly reach 40 degrees Celsius and there's less than a centimetre of rainfall each year. Yet hidden amongst these dry dunes are clues that point to the dramatic influence the planet has had on human lives. And archaeologist David Mattingly is here to find them. This rock face is like a zoo. We've got the most amazing menagerie of animals here. Elephants and rhinos and a whole range of other gazelles and antelopes and smaller animals. Herds of wildebeests are represented on, on, our, on our rocks here. And then these elegant giraffes as well. The point about all these animals is that they require a lot more water than this environment currently receives. In fact, none of the creatures on these rocks are desert animals. They all need wet conditions. In one of the driest places on Earth, how can this be? The only explanation is that 6,000 years ago, this place was wet. And from above, the evidence is clear to see. Satellite images of the Sahara reveal a vast network of past river valleys that crisscross the entire desert. 10,000 years ago, this dry, empty place was entirely different. Little is known about the early Saharans who lived here then, but we do know that they depended entirely on water. <laughs> 